These are 10 things you didn't know about Neymar. And first up, his $200 million secret. Neymar recently became football's most expensive transfer ever. And yet, he's already planning on retiring from football all because of his side hustle. Even though he's been racking in $200 million deals. Behind the scenes, Neymar's been making hundreds of thousands of dollars with a single hand. And it's all thanks to his luck at the casinos. On the table, Neymar's become so good at poker, he said he wants to quit football just to go pro. And not only has he been racking in millions of dollars, recently he literally named his dog poker. But hey, at least this new hobby's making Neymar money. Because at our ninth spot, he wore something so illegal, it lost him over $100,000. Coming into the 2014 World Cup, Neymar didn't just want to put on for his country. Being part of the most watched sports event of the year, he wanted to show everyone what he was packing. It was Brazil vs. Cameroon. And with the crowd desperate for excitement, Neymar let him have it. But wait, it doesn't stop there. Because just nine minutes later, Neymar capitalized again with his second goal. And you'd think scoring twice would be the competition's trending topic right? Well, we all know Neymar's a diva at heart. So at halftime, he decided to go stupid viral. He knew the cameras were flashing, so he literally flashed them right back. This man revealed himself, and the entire world saw his panties. But once the pics scattered all over social media, Neymar was literally put under an investigation because of an underwear violation. And this wasn't the first time Neymar repped something big under his shorts, so. He was faced with a $125,000 fine, but at least this wasn't as bad is the time he faced six years in jail, like in our number eight spot. Growing up in the struggle, Neymar didn't know any better. At a young age, he was blessed with the opportunity to play pro football for Santos. They took him under their wing, got him sponsorship deals. Hell, they even paid him enough to move his entire family out the trenches. But when Neymar began playing for the club, he was keeping secrets. Yeah, he started breaking records, being compared to legends, and becoming one of South America's greatest young players. But all along, Neymar wanted to play somewhere else so badly, he was willing to risk life behind bars. And in 2013, Neymar shocked the world when out of nowhere, he was transferred to Barcelona. Now, Neymar claimed he wanted to play there because of its legendary history, but Santos felt like Barcelona was actually manipulating Neymar. So after the transfer was completed, Santos contacted FIFA and launched an all-out investigation. Not long after, Neymar began his Barcelona career at a new level like never before. So everyone should have been happy for Neymar's success. But Santos sat in the shadows, feeling like they got stabbed in the back. It turned out that when the transfer took place, on paper, Neymar was bought from Santos for 19 million. But behind the scenes, Barcelona made shady deals with Neymar's family to secretly send an extra 65 million. So when Santos found out, they felt like they got scammed. Him and his dad were facing jail time, and what seemed as a multi-million dollar come up now turned into bail money. But at least this didn't completely ruin his career, like what happened in our seventh spot. Because over the years, Neymar's developed an unhealthy addiction. Even though he's a role model to hundreds of millions of people, he still can't fight his urges, even if it's risking his professional career. Recently, he started suffering devastating injuries, and everybody thought it was just bad luck or coincidence. But it turned out, instead of training and practicing football like he gets paid to do, Neymar dropped his kicks for some clicks o pai tá on. É hoje que o Neymar, tá. to become a full-time Twitch streamer. Once he started playing games like Call of Duty and CSGO, he got so good at gaming, some of his highlights racked up over a million views. And when he realized that he had a live audience of over 100,000 people, the attention literally took over his life. I mean, we're talking about a grown-ass man who spent 40k on video game skins. And a few years back, when it was time for football's most prestigious award ceremony, the world realized just how bad Neymar's addiction was. It was the 2018 Ballon d'Or, and all the top players got together to celebrate the year's lucky award winner. And with Neymar being near the top of the ranks, showing up should have been a priority. But instead, he felt something else was more important going viral. Dude was literally caught in 4K skipping the awards just to play COD. Well, Twitter thought it was hilarious, but to me, it's actually concerning, because sitting in a chair for hours a day definitely ain't healthy. I mean, it ain't in any of my workout routines. Trust me, I'm a professional. And I guess it explains why lately, Neymar's become more injury prone than Derrick Rose. But hey, his addiction isn't anywhere near as bad as number six on our list, because Neymar's been ruining lives since he was born. See, Neymar grew up with his family in the worst conditions imaginable. 
They could barely afford water, electricity, and were basically one mistake away from losing everything, but Neymar still found a way to f*** it up. One month, his dad forgot about the electricity bill and on the day it was due, he had to work. So even though Neymar was young, he had to be trusted with the money. And at first, he walked down the street and was cool with paying the bill. But all of a sudden, he saw a once in a lifetime opportunity where he could win his dream car. And there was no way he was passing that up. He went in, bought a raffle ticket, and later that night, he could barely sleep. All he could think about was cruising down the street in his new whip until the next morning. Cause as soon as he opened his eyes, he heard it. Neymar jumped out of bed, ran out his room, and there was... Dad? Pissed. As the electric company pulled up in their car, shut the power off. But hey, at least his dad eventually got over it, and the family was okay. Now something Neymar will never get over is what happened in our number 5 spot. January 26th, 2020. PSG vs Lil. Neymar came into the heated matchup with the Mamba mentality, and right from the jump, he started things off on the right foot. And Neymar was all smiles, while PSG walked into halftime with a 1-0 lead. But once he got to the locker room and opened up his phone, he burst into tears. And nobody knew this, but behind the scenes, these two were like brothers. They hung out, played sports. Hell, th they even swapped jerseys. So when Neymar found out his boy passed away, he was heartbroken. But he knew the job wasn't finished. Neymar came out in the second half on a mission. And as soon as he got a penalty kick, not only did Neymar score another goal, he let the world know this one was for 24. And after the game, Neymar hit up his tattoo artist to make Kobe part of his life permanently. With a custom tat of his favorite Kobe quote. People don't understand how obsessed I am with winning. Damn, man. If Neymar did that for Kobe, I just wonder what Neymar did for the player who literally saved his career, like in our number 4 spot. Behind the scenes, Neymar was hurt, cause after being transferred, he had the world's weight on his shoulder. The entire situation caused chaos in Neymar's life. On the field, and even in front of his teammates, he was tearing up. Luckily, Neymar joined forces with an all-time great who for a decade, lived under the constant spotlight himself, Lionel Neymar's career to a new level. Neymar admitted, I was crying in the dressing room. I couldn't play my football. And in the moment I needed his support the most, the man of the team, the best in the world came and he told me, you have to be the same lad you were at Santos. I'm here to help you. After that, Neymar became a bigger star than ever. But listen, now we're getting to the top three. So things are about to get dead. When Neymar was just four months old, him and his family were driving up the mountains to visit some relatives. When out of nowhere, they were hit by a lethal storm. It got so bad, the family couldn't even see what was right in front of them. And then... Neymar's dad dislocated his hip and was hanging on for dear life. But then he realized Neymar was gone. So he jumped up, looked inside the car, outside the car, everywhere he could. Nothing until he heard crying. It was Neymar and he was trapped underneath the driver's seat covered in blood. So they immediately called an ambulance and rushed him to the hospital. Neymar came face to face with death and he wasn't even old enough to understand what was going on. After all, the entire situation wasn't even his fall. Just like the time Neymar almost got a football player assassinated. Yeah. At our number two spot, Thiago Mendes made the biggest mistake of his life and he was about to find out the hard way. During extra time of a PSG Lion matchup, Neymar was trying to fight to spark his team some momentum. But right as he dribbled, Thiago tripped Neymar and he was finished. Even though it looked painful, everyone thought Neymar was doing what he does best, flopping worse than James Harden. But when team officials surrounded Neymar and he was eventually stretchered off, that's when shit got real. Social media went into a frenzy, thinking Thiago injured PSG's golden boy on purpose. But the scariest part of it all wasn't the yellow card of the Twitter fingers, it was the trigger fingers. Cause after the match, Thiago's girl let the world know, Neymar fans were telling her things like, for your boyfriend's actions, you'll pay with your life. You and your family, one by one. But even though Thiago and his family were living every day in fear, Neymar's injury eventually came back negative. So Thiago got let off the hook. I mean, that mistake could have lost them everything. Like at number one, cause Neymar's mistake literally lost the company billions. With the entire world's eyes on the 2014 World Cup, Sony secured the deal of a lifetime to become the official headphones of football for $280 million. So FIFA made sure players wearing any other brand were banned. And just to make sure players followed the rules, Sony gave free headphones to 
every single team. But it didn't take long for players to pull up to arenas and go through their pregame routines to realize these headphones were ass. And once word started spreading about just how shitty these headphones really were, players knew they had to stand up for what they believed in. And we all know Neymar, man. He ain't one to bitch out from the spotlight. So even though a few weeks before he just gotten fined over $100,000, he figured, shit, why not a billion? Neymar literally contacted Beats by Dre, filmed a commercial, and debuted it during the World Cup. Over 34 million views later, Neymar single-handedly slapped Sony in the face. And once the world found out Sony's headphones were nothing compared to Beats, their company dropped $1.7 billion in value. Like, bro, do you realize what you could buy with a billion dollars? Million dollar watches, 12 million dollar cars, 14 million dollar mansions. Wait, ain't those Neymars? Yeah, I know you want to hear more about that. Just click this video right here.